but I'm going to eat it anyway. Now keep your hands off of it. Doris worked too hard on it to have your grubby fingers running through the yellow layers of that cake. I washed my hands last week. And but anyway. It looks like it. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the final show on the season of Cooking Sheep. Mm -hmm. It's real nice to see all of you and, and We'll tell you more about <laughs> next season. A little while. I can't believe we got. I have a lot of surprises today. I have with me today, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Cal. <laughs> ah, Hi, Doris and Harold. Ah. Thank you for all the help you've given us this year and moo. <laughs> I'll do anything for a laugh around here. My oh, business sorry. partner gave me this for Christmas. Uh -huh. My business partner. I gave him a new oven, a, a, a new kitchen. Uh, had work extensively done on his home at my expense, and he gives me a talking cow. Well, anyway, it what can you? Doesn't even talk very good. I also have a picture <laughs> of my first uh, girlfriend, uh, once removed. Uh -huh. We once had a large picture of this on. I'd, oh, <laughs> oh, fool! <laughs> Had the picture. That's uh, Patty Pig. Uh -huh. That's my first girlfriend Patty I ever Pig. had. And it was she said. Well, I got picture. something to show close up. I want you to look at this envelope. This is from <laughs> the Hardesty's in Cape Coral, Florida, and they, all right, and they put this little uh, person on here that says, this end up, and if you'll notice, the United States Post Office, those wacky guys and gals there, uh, fell for it, and they canceled it in the wrong side. The stamp has never been through the machine. <laughs> There's a cancellation. Of it. <laughs> they ran it through like. But they read the front of that uh, thing real well. Terrible. Oh, uh, dear cooking sheep says, uh, can you take the skin off the chicken before you shake it in flour? I am not supposed to have chicken with skin because of high cholesterol. Well, this is no skin off my chicken. Right. Thanks, Mr. and Mrs. No, it doesn't say Mr. at all. I'm sorry. I just married this woman. How embarrassing. <laughs> Mrs. Mabel Stubbs of Roanoke, Virginia. Well, uh, you can take the, chin, the skin off the, the chicken, chicken if but the you chicken's can't make dead. it eat. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that the chicken has been properly slaughtered. No, I think you can. Oh, sure you can. Sure you can. You just uh, maybe if you soak it in a little milk first would be real yeah. nice, and then shake mm -hmm. it around in there. And sure, go for it, babe. <laughs> anyway. And Jane McMahon of Tampa, Florida, wrote in and said, "Today was the first day oh. I watched your show. I just have to tell you, you guys are great. So many of the things that happen are typical of an everyday home kitchen." butter being too hard, dirty beaters, beaters falling out, spilling stuff, losing spoons, stuck up straws, and frozen mouth roofs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then she true. asked for a shrimp recipe and is, yes, we'll try to do some next year. Ah, here's a person that does not mince words. Mm -hmm. uh, dear Cook and Cheap, please forward the recipes that were shown on TV. All nine years, I suppose. Uh -huh. Joseph Cutta of Sun City, Center, Florida. Sun City Center, Florida. Well, Joseph, we like you a lot, <laughs> but you're not getting nine years worth of recipes. <laughs> Buy our cookbook. <laughs> Read our lips. That's how you Buy get nine years. Book. That's right. <laughs> we want to. Sh we do want to mention this lovely cake from Doris Ford. Gorgeous cake. And they wanted to get a startling close-up of it. There it is. Celebrating our 926th show. <laughs> it just feels <laughs> it like it. seems like <laughs> And finally, before we go over and do cakes today, Laban, being that this is the final show of the season, uh, the staff took up a little money and got something for you here oh, at Larry. Larry. And this is a, a very, very special thing for those who have worked with Laban throughout this season. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, uh, and it will... Uh-huh. Uh, so oh, this very, very lovely nice. uh, bowling trophy uh, <laughs> on behalf of uh, all of us here at Blue Ridge Public Television Labor, we wish to present you with the that. posterior <laughs> end of the equine. <laughs> As he so eloquently put it. So anyway. And I'm going to elegantly put it <laughs> as soon as he gets up. <laughs> now let's go over this way where we have cakes galore. Who? I'm telling cakes galore. You remember oh, her? I do. She was a Bring me my cow. I don't want all you right. to get slop food all over my cow. All right. <laughs> it's a Here brand it comes. new comes. Wake up. It's a brand new cow. I would just be petrified. So anyway, well, I'll put that over here. I think you'd bring a used cow yeah. on this show. <laughs> so what are you making? I don't know. Some kind of bread pudding. <laughs> 
<laughs> I I tell, what I was making, I was making <laughs> until 9 o'clock last night, and I'm tired of it. But I'm going to oh, do it no. again for you one more time. This is called Ever So Easy Chess Cake, sent in by the lovely and voluptuous Deborah Milan, or Millen, of Galax, Virginia. Thank you very much, Debbie. It does look real pretty. Although mine, after I took it out of the oven, was just a picture of loveliness. And uh, 40 minutes later, I came back after it cooled, and it looked like my chest. It's just sunken oh, deep down no. inside. Like but it's okay. Breath. And so should I start or you guys start? I can't remember how no, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was so much to the show, I just can't remember. You take a box of yellow cake mix, just ordinary old yellow cake. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I went shopping yesterday, and I am angry with cake-making people. The, the boxed cake people make me mad. Oh, Do you know no. what? Would you buy uh, water and bring it over here? I left my water over there. They have, there's no such thing anymore as just plain old yellow cake mix. It's luscious uh, yellow. It's... Uh, this water is gone <laughs> bad, Bly. <laughs> Something wrong. Are you sure this is water or was that crew funning with you again? <laughs> Just set it down, Laban, and leave me alone. <laughs> Here, put this and breathe in it. It'll cure your hiccups. Let so me anyway. put this over your head. <laughs> the ordinary yellow, but they have all these stupid names for yellow cake mix. They, oh, it's, like it's dumb. Like golden rod. I spent a lot. Someone has written all over my uh, eggs. That's real funny. Cooking cheap, <laughs> cheap <laughs> eggs. People are just hysterical oh. down here. So a box of ordinary low-down yellow cake mix. It doesn't have to be expensive. One egg and a stick of margarine softened. <laughs> well, Larry, <laughs> and I and this stuff isn't soft. And I don't care what you say. I'm going to soften it in here. I did it last night, and there's no problem with it. Well, so if I'm we had a new cola, right you could use your new cola on it. My new cola. New cola. Oh, the new uh, the machine. All right. I'm right, going to put a glass pie pan in the oven with two tablespoons of margarine and a half a cup, cup half of a pe cup. pecans <laughs> in the oven at 400 degrees while Larry's doing this. Oh well, I, I, there's nothing to do. I wait for the. Well, it looks like it's gotten real soft, so let's put that in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got to get this done. Maybe if I start it on the butter, it'll do all right. Well, it's just cutting it right up. Oh, it's doing a wonderful job of it. I, I have a funny feeling that some Oh no. <laughs> you want me to take over while you go? <laughs> this stuff seemed a little tad dry to me when I did this last night. But I swear that's all it calls for. A box of yellow cake mix, an egg, and a stick of margarine softened. Huh? Well, yeah, I don't know what else you can do with it. So I didn't do anything else with it. I tell you. I'm worried about this one, but it looks right pretty. And it's starting to do what it's supposed to do. Now, if you look now, it's getting crumbly. See? Oh. So it's mixing around there real good. You got to get it to this thing is not faring well and it's smelling bad. I think the motor's burning out of it. Oh, no. It better not burn We've out right <laughs> now. I got another cake to do. I'm going to be dead meat if I don't get this thing <laughs> done. <laughs> oh, it's just all over that thing. Well, I'm not going to force it much further because I need it for another cake. Now, what you do is you take that and um, um. what do you do? You put it in one of these, uh, <laughs> one of these square cake things. <laughs> I believe that one technically is oblong. Well, Larry. yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the square has equidistant sides. Now, what you should do is you should take something real heavy and smush it down because you'll never get it. But that's what, that's just the way it's supposed well, to I be. Mean, couldn't you use your hand? No, I don't. Well, I guess that. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that would be a lot better, wouldn't it? Well, his just, hands are clean. He already told it us. It is. It is. Uh, so just smush that around in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the top. You look like you've got werewolfery hands. For a, oh, please don't mention it. I, I burned my hand this weekend. Let's not talk about <gasps> oh, it. Oh, no. All right, now, uh, yeah, everybody all day says. Was it accident or was it all purpose? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is, is, is make the uh, topping. Now you take an eight ounce package of cream cheese softened. And this is softened. I'm happy to make you feel real good uh, one time. <laughs> You know that this is softened, <laughs> and you got to dump that in here if you can get it open. 
These things are terrible. I wish I had a knife. That's all right. Here, here, here. It's okay. I got it. It's too late. All right. And uh, three eggs. This requires a lot of eggs. So three eggs go in there. I hope I didn't burn up this fine electric mixer. In actuality, it was a free gift from the TV station at the Christmas party a few years ago, so it should shock no one that it's burned out already. Oh, excuse me, I'll drop that right in. Okay, and a box, an entire box of confectioner sugar. Boy, this ought to make it go crazy. I have a real heavy Hamilton Beach at home, and it played a lot of heck with it last night, so this thing probably is never going to get through it, but I don't care. Well, it handled that part pretty good. Now we're going to put the confectioner sugar in there. This is the good part. Woo! You can't see 10 feet on the set in here right now. You might want to just put it in a little, a little easy, especially if you have a wimpy electric mixer like this one. I hope they can't read the net label on this thing. It'll never sell another one after this show. No, it really was a fine mixer at one time, but it it's on its last leg right now. Oh, please. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. If I ruined another sweater, I'm going to be real mad. It's, it's, it's hanging in there pretty good, believe it or not. And you got to get that all mixed up. And believe it or not, that's all there is to it. Woo! <laughs> it, does. it is going to burn up. I know it is. It'll never make it through that applesauce cake. <laughs> it's never going to make it. But it's all right. The applesauce cake can be done by hand anyway. This, this requires a great deal of mixing. So Now what you do is you take that mixture and you just pour it across the top of it just like so. Ooh, now you know that's got to be good. It's five million pounds of sugar. How could it be bad? And just put that in there. And what you're going to do now is you're going to put that in the oven whilst I go back here and wash some dishes so I can do the next uh, recipe. Make sure you get that over the whole thing. And you will put that in the oven at uh, 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. And it's gorgeous when it comes out. It really is. It is a beautiful cake. And that's that. And I made it. <laughs> well. Now, Laban. Now I'm doing a new bread pudding, and just to refresh your memory lines, I have used a nine inch glass pie pan. It's in the oven with two tablespoons of margarine and a half uh, cup of pecans, and the pecans are toasting in a 400 degree oven whilst we make the rest of this. I have also peeled, and not peeled, I've chopped a couple of Granny Smith apples so that I've got a cup and a half of chopped apples here. And I guess you could do this uh, by grating it up and they would be real tasty. But uh, you don't really need to. You can just chop them in big, big pieces. Now, four eggs go into a pan. Oh, what a mess. And I, my feelings are hurt because even though the <laughs> station was kind enough to give me a horse's rear trophy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you worked darn hard for it, I too, did. I might add. They didn't draw any cartoons on my eggs. <laughs> well, you know what we always say when you can't take a yolk. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, come on. Give me a break. All right. A quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder. One of these dashers fell on the wrong side of the sink. You reckon we'll live to talk oh, about no. it? you know we'll die. Woo. All right, now I gotta get the milk out of the oven. There's so much going on. <laughs> Boy, they just love to follow us when we do this, don't they? Milk out of the oven? <laughs> oh, well, wherever it was. <laughs> well, that refrigerator is none too cool. All right, here. <laughs> I'm working with a great right. buffoono today. Uh, there is uh, a half a cup of uh, whatever this stuff is in here, and now I'm going to whisk it. This reminds me of a Christmas show we did one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was so worn out. Now I'm whisking it for who laid the rail. <laughs> and with the cinnamon, the four eggs, and the milk. And now I'm going to add one third of a cup of brown sugar packed. Huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Harold. Uh, Harold just reminded me that the other dish is supposed to be done, but I can, by viewing it, tell that it's not, so. 
Now this sugar goes in here like this. Ah, beep, 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 beep. Now I have faux, oh, count no. them, faux slices of day old bread. This is several days old. And I'm gonna shred it and put it in the pie pan with the pecans and the margarine and pour this. And well, I'm gonna put this and the apples in here. And well, you'll see. <laughs> Bly, Bly, are you ready? <laughs> no, I forgot to open the oh, can. Oh, well, let me, <laughs> in case you don't know how to shred the bread. Oh, watch him shred the bread. Uh, you just pinch oh, little pieces no. off in it. What? People are running around frantically trying to find oh. something to open a can well, you with. You don't think applesauce grows on trees, do you? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Call me you want can. me to start this mess? Do you? Yeah, go ahead. Uh oh, are you finished now? Well, I'm done. I don't ready know what to, to do. Well, go on and do it. Okay, four cups of flour. This is, I got to tell you, this is a beautiful applesauce cake. And if it tastes half as good as it smelled in my home last night, it's going to be fabulous. And you start out with four cups, don't rub it in, four cups <laughs> of flour. They're trying to let me know how little time I have to do an entire. <laughs> Three. I can't. I got to get in it. <laughs> I can't get the. Move the bag. Four cups. No, no, Doris, not you. No, no. <laughs> Doris, will you open that while I'm doing this? Four cups of flour. Two teaspoons of baking soda. This is a very simple recipe. Simple recipes for simple is that people. The, one, the same box you Two use those. during your teeth. I noticed when I was I, over I did. I was doing my night. teeth with these a little earlier Either today. You got something that smells real bad in your medicine cabinet. Just or a little bit fashion. of salt. Half teaspoon of salt. Oh. Ooh. Bad load. All right. There we go. Put we'll all in there. die with that. And a half a teaspoon of cloves. Half teaspoon of cloves. Half teaspoon of cloves. I don't think I'm ever going to get through tearing bread. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is funny. This took hours last night. It's much easier. It's much easier today. Yeah, but you're relatively sober today. <laughs> <laughs> relatively. Okay, uh, yeah, what you else? And, you and John Dow. A cup of butter, <laughs> and the butter is now melting. I don't care what you say. Two cups of sugar. Two cups of oh, the sugar. Now, hey, anything's got two cups of sugar in it couldn't be bad, right? Oh, I don't know. Whoa. No, 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 no. That's close enough. And what else here? Three eggs. Boy, I tell you, I have gone through some eggs today. But look, I've cleared off this whole thing. It's amazing. People have written notes all over our final eggs of the season. They've done little thing. Three eggs. And last and certainly not least, a can of applesauce. Didn't say what size can, but I assume it's just a plain old size can. So that's what I'm using. A plain old ah! size can of applesauce. I my pecans. Oh, thank God they haven't burned. Oh, Lord, it's just one thing after another down here on the old cooking cheap set today. Now, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is mix all that up. Oh, Larry. Huh? Just a minute. Oh, wait a minute. i got to put the butter in. Yeah, right. go ahead. Well, let me dump all this mess. This is oh, my eggs pretty. and all that mess uh, and the apples and the shredded bread down into the pie pan. And that's down in there with the uh, toasted pecans and the two tablespoons full of margarine. And I'm going to stir it around. And then it will go in the oven and bake. All okay. Right. Now, you see all this mess? Uh-huh. Everything but the raisins have gone in here now, so what you have to do is mix this around real good. Now, I did this with, a, with my electric mixer last night, but I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to see this electric mixer do this today because I don't think it will. So anyway, you mix all of that up in there. I don't know. Maybe it will. Let me give it a try. I feel like livering. Li livering. Liver. Livering I and thought you were making right. applesauce cake. Oh, yeah. oh, I forgot to put, no wonder it's so thick, I forgot to put a cup of uh, softened, uh, short softened uh, <laughs> margarine in there. And I don't dare leave that on top because it's going to go all over this fine, expensive sweater. <laughs> well, it was expensive during the 60s. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put that in there. Mix it around a little because you don't want to get this all over you. What a mess. Okay. Oh, hey, it's doing pretty good. 
Whoops. Spoke too soon. This thing is uh, smells like it's burning up <laughs> momentarily. Well, it'll be all right. Just gonna take a little bit to, to work it around. I'm just gonna do it this way. Yeah, that works good. There we go. I tell you, when you're working with with this heavy duty stuff, you really need to work with more than toys, which is what this is. <laughs> this little thing is just. Now, here's what you do when you get to this point. Let's pretend like this has been mixed up real good. Let's, let's pretend like that's been mixed up real good. Now, what you do is you take an entire box of raisins, an entire box, and put it in there, and you'll mix that around with your spoon. Meanwhile, what you'll want to do is flour, uh, grease and flour, a, a what a flute plan, pan or a bunt a flute pan a bunt pan which is what I have today because you're going to need that and then what you will do is you will put it in and bake it for 250 degrees for 20 minutes and then 350 degrees for 1 hour well hang on a second don't get pushy you'll get your recipes I'll get your recipes when I want to get your recipes so what you do now is you just mix all that in there see just fold it over and fold all those luscious little California raisins, right? You can hear them sing and heard it through the grapevine right down to the bottom of the cake. Now, what you will do is, oh, oh. <laughs> pay no attention to me. Let's just <laughs> go right to the recipes. <laughs> Ever so easy, just cake, a box of yellow cake mix, one egg, a stick of margarine, soften. That makes the bottom of it. Then, for the top, mm. you put 18-ounce package of softened cream cheese, three eggs, a stick of margarine, stiffened, softened, not stiffened, and you put it on top and you bake that 350 degrees, 30, 40 minutes. Oh, the applesauce cake also sent in by the lovely Renee Evans of Roanoke, Virginia, four cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of cloves, a uh, teaspoon of cinnamon, a cup of butter, two cups of sugar, three eggs, one can of applesauce, one 15 ounce box of raisins. And the bread pudding. Two tablespoons of margarine, a quarter cup of chopped pecans, four eggs, one third of a cup of brown sugar packed in tight as a tick, half a cup of milk, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, uh, four slices of day old white bread uh, or whole wheat. Oh, well, I use, well, fool I am. And a cup and a half of chopped cooking apples. And that's that. Okay, so when you get finished with this mess, you then turn it into uh, 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 this like so. It has been floured, greased and floured. Don't get me excited. <laughs> I'm having problems enough as it is. Put that in there and you'll just put that in the oven. Well, you've seen people turn things into there. That's all I'm going to do for the moment. Anyway, and when it comes out, boys and girls, it's real pretty. Oh, I'll prove it's it to gorgeous. you. It's gorgeous. It is. It's previously gorgeous. It is lovely. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, let me have Very that beautiful. one. I'll put that while yeah. you get the other one. And anyway, it is. Oh, sounded like <laughs> "Let's Go" there for a minute. Oh. That's an old song they used well, to clap. You get to. the other cake. Have uh. you done that one? Oh, it's over oh, it's there already. Right. Oh, good. Oh yes, good. I want to show you all, all this right. lovely uh, chess cake. They call it. They should call it a sunken chess <laughs> cake. Because. <laughs> But I swear, isn't it beautiful though? It really, but if now you served at, it warm, it would just be, it's just lovely, absolutely Look at this beautiful lovely. bread pudding. Absolutely it's absolutely lovely. gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and while Larry is getting himself together over there and I need a spatula. coming over here. Uh, oh, you put one over there. Yeah, we are real excited that. about a phone call we got right before the show. And we want to let everybody, including our friends here at the station know that the Cook sisters have broken out of the nursing home. <laughs> and we'll be back next year. Next year. If on we the can show. find them. They uh, will. They will be back on the show next year. And so uh, we'll see. Well, Larry, this just all looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, it does. Well, here, let me cut some of this. <laughs> oh, well, this chess cake is kind of gooey. Mm hmm. Exactly pretty good. <coughs> oh, well, I'm sure it's all real good, and goodbye, and get out of here. We'll see you next year. <laughs>